<laughs> What's up YouTube family? John Levan here. This is Deadline Steamworks. Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be taking a look at this fine piece of hardware, the Fifine K038 dual wireless lavalier system, but in a very special way. We're going to be doing a 48 hour film, so this isn't just today. This is going to be a few days, but we're going to do a 48 hour film. It's the worst possible way to do a film, but we're going to do it because we hate ourselves and we were challenged to by the people over at Fifine as part of sending this over. Now this is not a sponsored video, they did not pay me for any of this. They did send the unit over for free and requested that we review this as part of a short film. So that's why you guys are getting the terror and torment of me and Jeff and whoever else we can drag into this for the next couple of days. So let's get it going. Okay, so for those of you who are unaware as to what a 48 hour film is, number one, it's miserable, number two, it's a challenge, and number three, I'd like to call it fulfilling because you get to do an entire project non-stop until it is done. You get to complete something or you fail, and we don't fail. Is that too busy for Instagram? So part of the 48 hour film, you're given two genres. You get to pick one of the two you're given. You get a line of dialogue, a character, and a prop. Now, instead of a prop, we Obviously. have been... Obviously. Way better, Top yeah. down, always. Instead of a prop, we've been given this audio device, and we're going to use this audio device to acquire all of the recorded audio, Foley, other than like generic music, I guess. All the dialogue, all the Foley will be recorded with this Fifine dual wireless mic system. So we're not doing a regular prop. We're, we're negating that one for the sake of this. All right. But I have here in this little bucket, some papers with movie genres on them. So I'm gonna let Jeff draw the first one. He prefers uh, it to be musical. I do not want musical. I've got bars. Action, adventure. Whew, sweet, trip to the post office. And I've got a thriller. So we've got action, adventure, and thriller. Next up, we'll have, I guess, lines of dialogue. Where did you get these lines of dialogue from? I found online somebody who did the 48 hour film uh, every year over the last few years and they compiled all the lines of dialogue into a big pile of stuff. And so I picked out however many would print on one sheet of paper. Line of dialogue, sir. And that's when I shot him. So we have an action adventure movie or a thriller movie or a combination of the two with a random line of dialogue and that's when I shot him. The next thing we have to have is a random character. So I've done the same thing, I've got a pile of random Names and occupations. Go ahead, sir. It's a fine cabernet. <laughs> okay. Shufang. Library court. Maybe Shufang is <laughs> So this is this is the fun part. Rapper. Now we have to work within these things, Rapper. these parameters. Write, film, edit, and produce like the entire completion project of this whole film. Five to seven minute short film in the next forty eight hours. Shufang, ladies and gentlemen. Shufang. It's script writing time.
do want to say thank you to my friend Michaela. She works as a manager at Papa John's and hooked us up with some pizza to help tide us over while we work on this short film. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you, Papa John's in Tulsa. Y'all are amazing. Best pizza ever. Love y'all. So many things hooked up. Yeah, because yeah. we had the zoom and then the amplifier thing and then... Well, how do you think it sound quality-wise? Static. Probably like, like there there was a, a noise barrier that was kind of low, but from, it was obviously there and I don't know where it was coming from. But one lav did pick up both people pretty okay. Oh yeah, that, that worked all right. The lavs in the system are incredibly sensitive. The other thing kind of sucks about it is like you can't manipulate their audio. Independently. Independently. So, so there'll be a lot of post work doing it this way for sure. Our wireless receiver that we got from FiFind, the K038B or whatever it is. The greatest thing in the world. It accepts two wireless signals, but one of our transmitters is bad. So we have to do this entire short film with one transmitter pack, which is going to make it super fun because then we have to get that many more takes just to get audio. But that. Those mics are kind of quiet, so we have to output that signal into that this little amplifier here, which is actually a headphone amp, uh, but that's what we have to run that into in order to get enough power out of the mics so the recorder can actually have something to pick up. And then wow. we're running that headphone amp out into the Zoom H6 recorder, which we will be using to record the audio. Yeah, We've I mounted the lav on the roof of the car, the ceiling of the car. Can't see it here. But that's how we're using one loft to mic an entire car, is we've got it mounted to the top between the actors. All right, we are now headed to our next location. Gonna put the dogs up real quick and then get my boyo. And then we're headed to the next location. I hooked up a power inverter here so that we can have power and run some lights and our audio equipment since that all requires power. Hooked up power inverter's battery on the Jeep. Should be good to go. Okay, so we're in the woods, sort of. We're in Sutton Park, which is kind of woodsy, though there is a road back there. So what we've done, we run a power cable, extension cords all the way from the Jeep. The, uh, uh. like 200 feet of extension cords out here. We need this ravine looking area. And so we put the GVM 150D over here on a C stand. And then we've got some battery powered, smaller LED panels that we're gonna use to fill in some of the shadows of the woods, kind of make it creepy looking still. So we're gonna follow Jeff down here for a bit. Also, I know this footage is really bad because I'm pushing the absolute max of the 6D Mark II or like 25,600 ISO, it's gonna look like ant races. But that's what happens when you shoot in the woods. You just have to, just have to do it, you know? Any footage is better than no footage. I don't know where to put it. Jeff, explain what we're doing with the audio here. So just like in the car, they're both going to be pretty close to each other in the scene. Uh, we forgot gaffers, tape, um, we forgot the extra microphone, so it's harder to swap packs out between takes. Um, the pat one of the packs that Five Find sent us doesn't even work, so we can't run two packs. So we've got uh, <laughs> microphone gaffer's tape to a boom stand. It is an omnidirectional microphone. We will be getting uh, a tinny interference from acoustics reverberating in the hollow tube, but it is uh, clips from the clip that we usually keep our uh, extension cables in because we also don't have enough gaffer's tape to put the <laughs> transmitter on the light pole. So they're just going to stand here. We'll probably drop it down another foot, be over the shoulder shot. I might just put it in front of somebody, hide it the old fashioned way. Yeah, it's going to be, that's as ghetto as you can get, man. But if you have one lav to make your production with, these are the things you do.
Hi, hello. So, I'm not really sure what my role is on this, but I'm gonna get some tips to PAs and any other production assistants or any of those types of jobs. Anyway, here are some tips for shooting in the cold when you are shooting in the cold. One, you should always bring blankets with you. Always bring blankets and potentially coffee and hot chocolate. We didn't have enough time to prepare for this, so that's otherwise we would have had all of said stuff. Also, bring heaters and hand warmers when you can because when it's two degrees outside, you're gonna need them for a uh, cast and a crew. Also, have a dedicated area to warm up in. For now, we've got the cars. And all the cars are on, which is, as John explained earlier, power running all the power. It's cold, as I saw it here. And it's really important to stay warm so you don't get frostbitten. I can't put my toes. Also, wear proper shoes. Proper shoes. Wear boots, like five pairs of socks, uh, extra layers, bring extra coats. Is there anything else, any other tips you can give for shooting out in the cold? Don't do it. That's the best tip of all, I think. <laughs> Shoot them on a sound stage. Shoot them on a sound stage. Maybe in front of a green screen if you can do it. You've got yeah. the skills. Because every movie should look like Justice League. Yes. <laughs> Here we go, off to another day of shooting on this 48 hour film mic review. It's been a lot of fun. It's the last day of shooting and then tonight we get to editing. Come on, get in the car. Hey Odin, do you have any tips for being a child on set? Uh, no. Ah. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Maybe about the potential hazards? Good talk. You should at least give them food, an IMDb credit, and a credit to them afterwards. Okay. And then... My battery is about to die on the cannon, but real quick, while we're here on this particular set, I wanted to explain the audio setup before it died. We're over here on a desk just out of the way. We have the receiver going into the headphone microphone amplifier, headphone amplifier splitter into the zoom, just like we did in the woods but it's all powered via building power. And then over here, we have a light stand that we are using as a boom with one lav because that's, that's all we have. And that's how it'll happen. Super interesting, right? All right, that's a wrap on her story, John's 48 hour vlog for the Five Fine Microphone Review. All of you were great. Alex for getting us locations. Woo! Zach and me on point on audio all day. Running Eight boom. One. Running mixer. Audrey and Quez. Y'all got y'all got chemistry I didn't think you guys would have. Woo! It was good. It was Sorry. emotional. Y'all were funny together. John, you were there for a lot of it. Cameras in people's faces, making trolley comments. Beard over your shoulder every time the wind blew. It looks like a scarf now. I appreciate everyone showing up, making this a good film for us. Five fine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, when you're done cutting these films, 
and you look at the audio and you show it to people they wonder why there's all so many dead spots and so many uh, director's comments in the background first thing you want to do is find cleanest audio from any take in that room of the day and it's all cut up but it's in premiere so you can stretch out the clips all you want find the longest cleanest clip you want make a loop I always like to take a section and then copy it and then reverse the second and then put them together and if necessary put a fade between them. And then I make that a nest and then I paste it next to each other and then I keep copying hordes of pasted clips. And that's how we got a 13 minute loop of uh, clean dialogue, of, of clean room tone. Then for messy dialogue, you find a clip that is the loudest with the most dead space. Get a noise print for that. In Audition, you can actually save a noise print file so you can use that noise print on other clips later. So just like naming any other file system, make sure you've got that labeled by the location and the scene and the actor if necessary so you can pull them up later. We got lucky this time. The worst sounding noise print actually cleaned up pretty well and we're able to use it on all the rest of the dialogue. Um, I'm expecting a lot of trouble in the woods because that wasn't just a hum, that was like a full spectrum buzz. This is just like a zero to 150 hertz hum. So we're gonna lose some bass response, but we're gonna put it back in with our room tone. It'll be, it'll be okay. Might have to reverb a few tracks. When you have like a, a noisy warbly background, sometimes just a little bit of reverb will smooth that out. Kill out the dead spaces between the robot sounds. All right, so you heard the man. That's a wrap. My wife can quit kissing other boys now. Huh. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was a lot of fun. Jeff still got to edit. So you'll get the... Well, you know what? I'm going to cut to the short film right here in just a second. Uh, thanks, Fi Fine, for the microphone system. You guys are great. I will be a proponent of your company forever. Actually, I'm in fully intending on probably buying some more of the first unit that I reviewed because those would be really handy having a bunch of those for this thing whereas the dual maybe not so handy for this particular setting uh definitely handy for the other for the other mic mostly because of power and individual channels and that sort of thing but whatever you guys you'll see all that enjoy the short film really good. I think you'd like it. Thank you, but um, I'll continue reading whatever I want, ma'am. You're funny. You're funny, too. And thank you for touching me. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, I got something you can help me with, all right. The self-help section is to the left. I can ban whoever I want, you know. Walking around with bells on. You can't go around here sneaking and scaring people like that. I mean, I would like a kitty cat, but I'm in the library and I'm supposed to be quiet. This is a library. Libraries are quiet and creepy little girls are silent. He'll tell like the rest of us. Did you like the book? Yeah, I'll put it back in the fiction section when we're down here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Two Harlequins and a Jane Austen. Oh, a well-balanced diet. Okay, have you tried Sense and Sensibility yet? I'll have to look into that. All right. All right, thank you. You can return those to any library in the city. Okay, hon. I'll be back. Good, she even cleans up after herself.
flowers one day. Turn the page. Come on, I'm still a little old fashioned. Okay, you know what you want. I mean, 2019 is really a strong woman's year. So where would you shove the book now? <sighs> Hard fiction, fan fiction, you know, maybe Hermione and Legolos having dinner in Narnia. Mr. Thomas or something. Stay out of my diary. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Another Harlequin. Yay. Sense and sensibility, finally. The color of secrets? Never heard of it. Sounds forward. Maybe a little bit racist. I'm just trying with you. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Not roses. Maybe lilies? I bet she shoplifts. So, I have a reservation. And the movie house is showing Love and Persons Virginia. I mean, just in case the color of secrets wasn't enough for you. Mm. Okay, girl, I'll go on a walk with you. <sighs> Reservations ain't shit. Oh no, I still want the food. But I own loving Virginia, so if you still got tundra fever after our walk. It's called frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you at eight. Call your mother and brag about me. Yeah, Mom, turn the TV down. I got some news for you. I met a girl. Yes, a real girl. So what'd you tell your mom about me? You didn't call her, right? Yeah, I called Mom, even though you forgot to write that down. So what'd you tell her about me? That you're crazy? And a white woman trying to take me in the woods after dark? That I might need a life alert. <laughs> Stop calling me crazy. I apologize. I didn't know you had triggers. Well, maybe I'll write that down for you. Where do you think you're going? I mean, the road is big enough for everybody to share. Stop. I want to show you something cool. All the trees look the same from here. Okay. I'll see some more leaves, probably water, some mud or something. Come on, this was on the news a few weeks ago. Somebody dumped a body here. Yeah, that's uh, really cool and I'm totally into that, but uh, I think we should discuss this in the car. Oh, come on, just think about it. I don't want to think about it. Why would you take a body and drag it through the woods and throw it in a ditch? Apparently the only ditch. Well, they did chop it up and made it more manageable. <sighs> you are crazy. I just wanted to take you to see a movie. And you got me out here looking for dead bodies? Don't call me crazy. Why not just drive down to Dallas and roll them down the hill or something between my markers? That's dark and clever. You know you got a real problem. You might be into all that serial killer stuff, but you can watch true crime by yourself. This is me. Things white people always say. Cute. Look, the book was a bit extra. Okay, it was a lot, but it worked on me. And I had a good time at dinner. In the woods? Mm-hmm. I did that for you. Stop. We had fun. <laughs> hmm. Finally, you man up a little. <laughs> no love in Virginia tonight? Maybe next time. I don't normally go to girl's house first anyway. Well, you weren't coming to my house to begin with. <laughs> Get out of my car. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Maybe some Virginia wolf? A room of one's own. Why even leave it there? Just keep it in your purse.
bathroom is on the left. Bathroom's on the right. <laughs> As I'm recording this, we are currently exporting the final short film. It's been a little longer than 48 hours. We would have failed that challenge, but you know what? It was worth it because I'm pretty sure this film is pretty awesome. Special thanks to everybody who helped out. Uh, I know that this whole project was unpaid and everybody still gave their time and we pulled it off and it was great. Probably one of the best 48 hour experiences I've ever had. Probably even the best one Jeff's ever had. Yeah. And we're looking forward to doing some more of these in the future. At least, you know, a couple of months down the road before we do this again, because it's extremely hectic. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to Fifine for providing the audio equipment that we used on this. And despite having one bad lav transmitter, we still pulled it off. I think it's going to sound great. I actually haven't heard the final product yet because it's rendering, but Jeff says it's okay. So, I look forward to working with you guys again in the future. You're a great company. I like the customer support and the feedback that I get from you guys and all the social media interaction it's awesome if you guys aren't following me on patreon you should probably go do that check me out on all the social media and all these other guys in the social media all these links will be in the descriptions below and we'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>